Hello and welcome to another video. Here is Adobe Photoshop and uh, today we're going to be creating some glassy buttons. Alright, so let's uh, get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a uh, circle with the ellipse tool. Alright, here's the, uh, the circle. And let's paint this green, alright. To fill this uh, with a shift uh, backspace. And uh, let's take a lighter color. Actually, we should probably make this a little darker. Somewhere around there. Shift backspace. And uh, I'm going to select a lighter uh, sort of green. And I'm going to select my uh, brush. I noticed that the opacity is set to 83%. Alright, so. And um, yeah, so I'm using a soft brush. Okay. Going to create a new layer and uh, I'm going to select my selection tool, elliptical marquee tool. And I'm going to hold out to sort of create a uh, upside down moon kind of thing. I'm going to select my gradient and uh, make sure that you are in uh, only one color. Let's set this to uh, gray and uh, I'm going to drag down to create. A gradient all right and you can see that this is already starting to look like a glossy button let me uh, enter some text here play make this a little bigger okay and um, we can uh, double click on the layer and let's uh, give this a shadow now the default shadow is uh, terrible, so let's adjust this somewhere around there. And uh, we can switch uh, the shadow to some, so, some kind of dark green. Drop the opacity to match the, uh, the button. And that looks not too bad. You could actually use something like this for your games. Um, if this was a menu, you could make the uh, other button um, options or something like that all right now if you wanted to change the color of the uh, the button all you need to do is uh, go to adjustments uh, hue and saturation and uh, you can pretty much turn this into anything Have to make it uh, purple I think that doesn't look too good let me try uh... yeah that looks not too bad all right okay so if you wanted to make your button uh, stand out a bit more uh, you could simply select a uh, darker green and make it a lot darker all right and with the uh, brush tool, you could go around it and make it a little darker. You could do the same thing for this uh, color here. Make it super dark. And uh, I'm going to select this here. And that seems to work nah, not too bad. All right, so let's do the same thing for um, a different kind of button. Let's select our rectangle and uh, let's fill this out with um, let's try blue. All right, uh, I think that blue is terrible. Let's uh, make this super dark, it's kind of purple. And um, I'm going to take the brush and uh, I'm going to um. Take the top here, make it a little lighter. All right. I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to subtract uh, maybe 40% uh, from this uh, selection. Let's create our gradient. And this looks 
Uh, not too bad. Let's uh, try some text in here. Let's bring it up. And it doesn't look too bad. But I think we can make it look better. Uh, let's uh, select this blue. And let's make the bottom really, really super dark. Okay, and that that's already looking a lot better. All right. Let's um, change the color to see if we can find a better color. And I kind of like that. All right. Now, if you wanted to make more, uh, you simply need to select these uh, layers and uh, you press. Um, I'm holding uh, Alt and Shift. make duplicates and uh, this will be something like uh, quit all right so here is the um, here's the button and you can see that um, it looks not too bad all right thanks for watching